Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Virgo. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. So I could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best resonates with your situation. But please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates or parts of the message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. So please take what you feel fits and just leave the rest, guys. So starting off the reading today with the Light Sears Tarot, and then we'll use the Radiant Ride Away to clarify the Romance Angels, and then finish off with the Soulmates and Separation Unspoken Love Messages. So let's get into the reading. Angels of Love and Light, can you please have clear and concise messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do they need to know in relation to love for this week, please? And thank you. Okay. So the first card that we have out for you today... Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Cups in reverse, Justice, Eight of Wands in reverse, okay, King of Swords in reverse, the Emperor, wow, Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands, bottom of the deck we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, okay. So you could be dealing with a fellow um, Earth sign, a fire sign, air, or a water sign. All of them are here. But we do have Justice here, which is Libra. We have Aries, which is the Emperor. We have Pisces with the Moon in reverse and potentially Cancer with the High Priestess and Sagittarius with Judgment. And we do have more fixed sign energy here with the world. We have Temperance, Aquarius um, with the Star. Yeah, we have Leo and Taurus and Scorpio energy as well. Okay, so let's get into this reading. Whew. So I feel there is someone who wants to um, come back into your life and they want to bring balance to your connection. They want to bring fairness and clarity, I'm getting. This person has been holding back their truth They've not been speaking up on their truth and they've probably been a bit of a poor communicator. So they've been very much more in their headspace rather than their heart space and they haven't openly expressed their feelings towards you. They've been keeping them back. They've been holding back their affection from you, keeping them a secret. And I feel like the reason why your connection hasn't necessarily moved on forward in the way that you would like it to or your person has is predominantly because this person hasn't opened up to you and they may have had their heart blocked in the past. But I feel like they're trying to work on themselves so that eventually they can open up towards you and you can have a new beginning with this person. You may live at a distance from one another. So there could be a significant distance like geographically between the two of you, um, a physical distance as such, or even an emotional distance. But this person wants to kind of close the gap between the two of you and they want to be able to travel towards you. But I feel like this person um, can't do that as of yet until they actually you know, speak up and say what they want to say, but I feel like they're hesitant as of right now because they're having difficulties with getting their words together to communicate to you about what it is that they genuinely want from your connection. This person may be struggling financially as of right now. Um, they could be trying to become independent, um, especially if they've been in a long-term commitment or a relationship elsewhere with someone else here, with a karmic partner or a karmic um, ex. I feel like this person is trying to um, get out of that because they've been feeling relatively stuck in their environment to do with this person or to do with this situation they don't want to be there anymore so they could be going through a legal process as of right now with a separation a breakup or even a divorce I'm getting um, and I feel like this person is waiting for this to kind of close out first before coming forward towards you and bringing balance to your connection because I'm getting this overall impression that they don't want to bring a load of baggage to your connection and they want to do right by you. So they're holding themselves back as of right now um, so that they can clear up the clear up what they need to clear up or tie up the loose ends, as it were, before coming forward towards you. So they could be just trying to find their feet right now and gain stability in their life here. Um, it's interesting to me because we have the four, which is the emperor and the four of pentacles. So 44, so you could be seeing those numbers. Um, but this person 
wants stability and they're trying to take authority in their own life as of right now and they're trying to become a lot more headstrong so that you could see them in a different light and that when they do come back around in your life that you are um, going to be more open and receptive to what this person has to say because they've got their life a lot more balanced um, especially if they didn't in the past then they want you to have um, okay, I'm just getting this new sense of respect and appreciation for this person because they may have made these difficult changes in their life so they want you to see them in a different way but this person may have been one to kind of bury their head in the sand and kind of avoid certain issues in the past but I feel like they can't do that anymore or they've been they've been through something that has been incredibly challenging so they can't just keep doing that so it's there's something that's happened in this person's life where it's staring them in the face and they're like, I have to make these changes. So I feel like that's what this person is needing to go through. Um, they're, they're addressing what they need to now because they want balance. We have the Ten of Cups here in reverse and the Moon in reverse. So something's been revealed to this person that they've been very unhappy. They don't want to play happy families in another situation if they've been dealing with a long-term partner. So a karmic partner or a karmic ex or a karmic situation with a third party of sorts. I feel like this person most likely sacrificed their own kind of emotional fulfillment to stay where they were. Um, and put on this facade, this front that they were happy when genuinely they weren't. And they were wearing a mask and they can't wear this mask anymore. And I feel like this person had to pick and choose about what it is that they were wanting. But they weren't sure what to do. Um, because they, their judgement was clouded here with the high priestess in reverse. And they know that they needed to make a decision, but they felt like they couldn't hear with the judgment card. Their intuition was most likely blocked before, but they've needed to find balance within themselves so that eventually you and them could have something. It's interesting to me because we have the two of pentacles, which is two, the high priestess, which is two, and then judgment, which is 20. But if you take away the zero, it's another two. So two, two, two. And then the world, which is 21, and you add up the two and a one and it makes a three. So this person is changing and they're having this um, rebirth in themselves by getting this balance back in their life, bringing harmony into their life. They couldn't necessarily see how to do it in the past, but I feel like they are seeing it now. So there was a sense of confusion before. Um, because this person was most likely very logical and they kind of did whatever they could in the past that made practical and logical and analytical sense rather than following their heart and following their intuition and being more in touch in their feminine side potentially um, about what it is that they were wanting in, in their life and especially when it comes to family when it comes to you know loving relationships and connections you know, you want to be able to be more in your in your heart space. And this person um, wasn't probably very in tune with their intuition in the past. They know that they needed to bring balance. This person wants you and them to come together and renew the connection. And if they didn't do right by you in the past, I feel like they um, want to bring healing. Um, and they want your forgiveness. They want to apologise. They want your forgiveness. They want a second chance with you. They feel this strong emotional attachment between the two of you and they felt relatively down and out and unhopeful that you and them could do anything, um, do anything more with the connection, like you could make anything more of it because of whatever they did in the past. I feel like this person has felt really quite down here, but they may have given off the impression that they're, in, that they're fine, but they're really not. Um, they're having a lot of sleepless nights or they've had a lot of sleepless nights and they feel very restless and potentially if they're dealing with a long-term karmic partner or karmic ex here um they've been feeling very kind of detached from this other person they may have children with them and they're wanting to move on but they felt they haven't been able to move on because they're, they're tied down in something i'm getting a very strong legal tie here with this codependent kind of relationship or connection and they're wanting to get themselves out of it but this person's had their self-esteem and their self-confidence knocked by being in this other connection of sorts um they're hoping that you are not going to be in a relationship with someone else um they're hoping that you are going to stay detached stay single working on you 
um, and you're not going to be tied up in another connection um, before that they've freed themselves out of what they need to free of so that you and them could have more together. But this person has been a bit fed up with carrying on doing what they were doing. Um, I'm getting living a lie. And now they want to break free of it here with the Hierophant in reverse. They don't want to be restricted anymore. This is Taurus energy. This person was probably in a very traditional commitment elsewhere and they just can't stand it anymore. And now they want to be out of it. Because look, all it's done is, is caused them a load of aggro with the Nine of Swords. A load of upset. A load of frustration. Wow. And then the death card flew out. Scorpio energy. This person just wants to end that. They've had enough. Because, well, for one thing, they're bored with the Four of Cups. But they're just feeling fed up with it. They don't want to be there anymore. And they, they don't want to be upset with the Nine of Swords. So let's look into the um, Justice card here. With the Radiant Wide Away. And see what's going on for Virgo, please. They could have been dealing with someone who was um, incredibly selfish, someone who was very jealous, very manipulative, very cruel and cutting with their words, very sarcastic, kind of, they had a power struggle um, between the two of them. So I feel like there was some sort of overbearing connection where two people were trying to fight for control, dominating for control here. And I feel like your person... Um, hasn't had love in this other situation for a very long time but potentially their finances were pretty great but they didn't have the emotional fulfillment and that's what they are actually on the search for now and they realize that they're only going to have that if they come back to you or come back to your you as a um, come back to you with a friendship or develop into something more I feel like I'm, my words are just not coming out in the way that I'm wanting them to come out. So this person just may sit there and they may... I'm getting like someone writing something or typing something up on their phone and they're deleting it or they're scrunching it up with a bit... Scrunching up the paper, trying to chuck it in the bin. You know, um, they're just not getting what they want out of it. They're all here, there and everywhere. This person wants to come clean and tell you everything. They want to communicate properly because they. this is what, this is how what this person knows that you want. But, oh my gosh, guys. King of Swords in reverse, Queen of Swords. This person feels a little bit intimidated. They feel intimidated because they know that you want fairness. They know that you want to be able to communicate properly with one another and that you want the truth from this person. You are seeking of the truth from them. You are telling of the truth to them. And they just can't get their head around of what they want to say to you and how they want to say it. So they just keep on um, holding themselves back. But their life is a bit up in the air. The lovers, Gemini energy. This person is very suddenly going to be back in your life here with the two of wands in reverse because they want this union or reunion with you. They have deep love for you and they want to come forward and speak their truth. Look at that with the ace of swords. I mean, I can't make it up, guys. This person wants to, to come across as competent. That's the word, competent. They want to come across as someone who's got their ish together. That you're going to have respect for them because they they know, they are knowing of what they want with you. Look at that. Knight of Swords. This person is stressed because all they can think about is coming forward towards you and telling you of their truth. But they don't want to kind of rush in. They want to, it's like they want to rush in, but they don't want to rush in. This person's trying to play the long game here with this emperor, like with the chess piece. They're trying to be strategic. But then they don't want to be overanalyzing everything. But they, they want to come forward. But they're holding back right now. Look, four of pentacles, four of pentacles. They're holding themselves back until they figure out what on earth they're going to say to you to bring in harmony and balance with you. To bring fairness to you. To bring clarity. I'm getting the sense that this person hasn't even got clarity in their own mind as of yet, let alone being able to communicate to you. So they're, they're coming across as cold or nonchalant or like they couldn't give two Fs, but they, they do. They care a lot and they want to come forward towards you. Look, 
Page of Swords. This person wants to come forward, but they know that they can't do it as of yet. This person's keeping tabs on you. They're hoping you're going to be patient and you're not going to go off into a brand new connection elsewhere because this person is feeling heartbroken that they just can't communicate properly. They haven't got the confidence in themselves as of yet to say to you what they want from you or what they want from your connection because they want it all with you. Gosh, look at that. Empress and the Emperor. They see you as their one. They see you as the person they're meant to have absolutely everything with. So that's why they're literally like... <sighs> stressed. I'm getting this sense of chest pain here, guys. I really feel like... I'm finding it hard to breathe. So this person may find it hard to breathe sometimes. Like you take their breath away. And they're so enamoured by you. The intensity that they feel for you is just so much. Look at that King of Wands energy. You make them want to, to take action and to come forward towards you and to overcome what they need to, to, come, to have anything with you. But they need to close off a painful cycle first before reuniting with you. They need to end a relationship. Look at that. With that Empress going at reverse. They need to end a relationship with a baby mum or a baby daddy here potentially with someone who they thought they were meant to have everything with, but it turns out they weren't meant to have them, have something with them, and that they're no longer putting effort into it anymore with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. What else here for justice? Oh my gosh, guys, are you kidding me? Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse, the Tower. You may have told a few home truths to this person and said, look, I'm not going to tolerate any BS. I'm not going to tolerate you coming in and out of my life with this hot and cold energy and bringing imbalance to me. It's not going to happen. I don't want this kind of sense of no follow through. If you're going to come forward towards me, you need to do it properly. You need to do it correctly. And now this person's overthinking because they kind of have this knowing that you're not going to have anything really to do with them until they get themselves sorted or until they drop whoever else they need to drop if they're dealing with a third party with a karmic partner or a karmic ex um that they need to drop this other situation if they are to have something more long term with you and speak their truth because you're not going to be pulled into a third party you know be a, a mistress or what have you or a side piece this person may have tried to do that in the past. They may have been very selfish. But you just said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to collaborate with you. I'm not going to build on something with you. I'm not going to put an effort to do with this connection if you were going to do this with me. And you may have just decided, look, I'm not sure if I trust you now. I'm going to put you at arm's length. And I'm not going to put any more effort to do with the connection. You retreated from this person. And gave kind of more to yourself rather than giving any more to them. And this was a massive tower moment for this person. This is a massive shock. Aries and Scorpio energy. Why is the Emperor here? This person may have thought that you wouldn't ever put them out in the cold, but you did. Maybe this person thought that you're always going to go round and round in circles like a, you know, carousel doing the same thing over and over again. And it turns out, no, you were like, well, no, I'm not going to have that. And you spoke up for yourself and you may have told this person quite bluntly, but very much straight to the point, you know, not suffering fools gladly of what you wanted and what you didn't want. And so if this person is to have anything more with you, then they need to make these particular changes. Why is the Emperor here, please, for Virgo? I feel like that was my fault. Two of Wands, King of Swords. King of Swords here twice on the table. Hangman in reverse. This person may have pointed the blame, pointed fingers at you um, for why your connection wasn't necessarily working out in the past. 
and they've had to take a, a step back or you've had to separate yourself from them and heal yourself and then they've had to kind of get a clue as it were to figure out actually that predominantly the reason why your connection wasn't moving forward it wasn't having the growth was because this person wasn't doing their bit yeah, that they may have had toxic ways about them in the past or they had something unhealthy about them that they needed to address. They were maybe trying to lead with their with their kind of more physical, lusty type way in the past. And you may have gone like, no, I'm not dealing with that, thanks. Yeah, this person may have been very um, hot and cold. They're very interested in you and wanted more with you, but they never really showed it. Because you didn't want to have imbalance in your life. You didn't want a load of chaos. So you may have just stood your ground with this person. And said look I don't want to kind of have some sort of scandal with you here. With the Hierophant in reverse. I don't want just some sort of kind of superficial fling connection with you. I want something more. And you may be fearful that this person is coming back into your life to continue with that so you're going to have to set boundaries again with this person if this is what you're scared of but i feel like predominantly this person wants to work on a connection with you but it's difficult because this person probably received very poor advice from other people in the past about what they should have done with you and what they shouldn't have done This person was confused. Look at that with Seven of Cups. They're no longer confused anymore, though, about what it is that they're wanting. They may have had options, or maybe they see that you're having options now. And this stresses them out. Five of Cups in reverse, the Chariot, Seven of Wands in reverse, King of Cups in reverse. The world in reverse, ace of cups, ten of pentacles in reverse, wheel of fortune in reverse. Okay. This person has to quit certain behaviours, certain ways about themselves and heal if they are to have anything more with you, if they are to push the connection forward with you and that they can't just come across with some sort of careless attitude. Because they know that you're going to kind of smell it from a mile off. That if they try to ma emotionally manipulate you in any way, um, you're going to know about it. And you're quite happy to kind of um, cut them out of your life. If this is something that may be deemed necessary. Um, because you're not going to tolerate this person just being here, there and everywhere with your life and causing a load of upset. I know that you probably feel that you have a very strong connection with this person and you most likely do. But they didn't go um, about things in the right way in the past. Potentially they've got a lot of karma that they need to close out in their life to do with another situation here. But you've stayed detached from this person until they've kind of figured themselves out here of what they were wanting. There are definitely other people trying to come in the mix between you and this person though. Trying to stir up a load of trouble, stir up a load of lies, a sense of gossip about what your person is doing or what they're not doing. And you may have had a few issues um, about whether to trust this person or not because you may have heard it through the grapevine about um, someone else, about this person being with someone else or if they were with someone else that they're still with that person or they haven't moved on or if they've stayed where they are or what have you but i feel like you've got questions for this person i'm going to take one more for that emperor please you know that this person wasn't emotionally available in the past but if they're to come forward towards you they have to be emotionally available so you may be questioning about whether they are this person's gone through a lot here with the nine of wands and the nine of swords especially as you've not been in their life They've potentially gone through a lot of karma and they're having to overcome certain obstacles before communicating with you. They know that you and them are meant to have more or you feel this with this person 
but they um, want to have slow, a slow burn with you. You intuitively know that you're meant to have more with this person. But it's got to be down to them to bring balance towards you if you and them are going to have the new beginning with the full Aries energy. And they have to close out whatever pain there was from the past. Ten of, ten of swords. Yeah. This person was in denial about the way that they felt about you. They were lying to themselves. Here. But predominantly, if they're dealing with a long-term karmic partner in a family situation, they've had to really end something that has been very painful here. 10-10 ten, ten, with the Ten of Cups in reverse, Ten of Swords. There's a power numbers guy, so you could be seeing those numbers, or maybe your person is as of right now. But they feel relatively exhausted. But you feel exhausted too, because you want to have a brand new beginning, and you want to kind of go on your merry way, as it were, but you've kind of been a little bit unsure about what to do with this person. You may be even holding yourself back a little bit from having a new beginning in other adventures in your life. Because you may be a bit unsure about what this person is going to do or what they're not going to do. Because there has been heartbreak here. You have been relatively hurt from this person. You know, they may have been deceptive in the past. But I feel like this person, whatever they did before, they're being haunted by the decisions that they've made in the past. And they're realising they're not having the growth in their life because, um, you know, it's been down to them. Not doing right by themselves, but also not doing right by others around them, but also right by you either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, look at the romance angels here, guys. And see what additional messages that we can get for you today. If you are enjoying this reading, please like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And if you um, do subscribe, please hit that um, notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you all. If you are enjoying this reading, please hit that like button as it makes a massive difference with the channel. And it really does help get the messages out there to people who may need to see them at this time. So thank you all so much. Everything you need to know about myself and the channel is in the description box below. And if you did fancy supporting myself and the channel, there is a donation link now available in the description box. So thank you so much to those who have already donated and thank you to those who have already donated. Um, so thank you. Uh, thinking, of, thinking of donating, I'm getting sorry. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know about you, but I just feel this sense of exhaustion, really. Um feel like you just feel relatively fed up and you kind of just want to know where you are with this person whether you're having something with them or whether you're not having something with them you just kind of want some sort of answers you may be deciding to to move to relocate and have a brand new positive beginning elsewhere without this person but they want to come back in your life and they want to take a chance with you and they want to do right by you but it's like you're both going to have to be very tactful and mindful with how you communicate with your feelings with one another because there has been frustration here between the two of you. You know, they know that you're not going to settle for anything less and that you're kind of waiting for your apology, as it were, or for your, um, for your person to do right by you. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. So, yeah, this person, potentially with that... Um, justice card and now the wedding card has come out they will want to have something long term with you they will probably want to get married you know that could be a conversation you may end up having together at a later date if this is something that you are both wanting or this person is having to go through a divorce finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so yeah this person if they got married to someone else in the past, they may have realised that they got married for money or their person's um, karmic partner. They may have had the intention just to marry for money and not for love. And so therefore your person has now been deeply hurt or betrayed because they may have heavily invested in something that they thought was going to work out and it really didn't. And it was really quite eye opening for this person. They may have been overworking as well, like your your person could have done two jobs or several jobs or they tried to make several forms of income 
and then something didn't necessarily work out. So what else can we get here, please? What else can we get here? Finances and career. Healing family issues, yeah. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this person probably has their own family um, with children. So like a baby mum or a baby daddy that they're having to heal sort of certain issues with, with a family situation, get their kids together, get themselves together. They may be going through a, a court case as of right now or going through... Um, I'm getting a legal battle with a divorce here with the King of Swords in reverse. Maybe um, they've had issues with paternity tests, um, fatherhood issues. If someone had potentially got pregnant, you know, trying to find out whether a child is theirs. What else here, please? Thank you. for these. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Bottom of the deck, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yeah. This person is having to retreat or stay away from you as of right now so that they can heal the family issues. They're hoping that you and them, when you get together, you'll have an open mind because they may have lost out a lot financially. And they're hoping that if they were to come together with you, that you won't just feel like the money is the be all and the end all. Like they did have, you know, that they had with someone else in this other connection or relationship. Um, I feel like it was very materially based um, and there wasn't really love there. But your person's very attracted to you and they want something more in the future. They can't deny the attraction that they feel for you and they want to take a chance on love. But they're just hoping that you haven't moved on already to someone else or something else. This person may have been very attracted to you in the past. And you weren't their usual type. And they kind of fell in love with you. And they weren't expecting to fall in love with you. Because you weren't normally the type of person that they would go through, go for. But if they were in a long-term commitment with someone else, then they had a particular type. And then when you kind of came onto the scene, you weren't this particular person's type. But then they saw how different you were, and not just potentially physically, in every other way from the person that they potentially had a long-term commitment with or a marriage with. And they actually really liked what they saw and what they felt with you a lot more than what they did with the person who they thought they were meant to have everything with but it turns out it wasn't meant to be soulmates and separation unspoken love messages so let's get a few closing messages here this could be what your soulmate would like to say to you or what you would like to say to them if you're in no contact with one another or if you've little contact or if you are you know talking but there's not very much happening between the two of you then this could be what your person would like to say to you or what you would like to say to them. As we do have cross watchers here, guys. But this person was most likely hiding their unhappiness to try to protect and spare other people's feelings. And they could have been dealing with someone who was very um, possessive, very jealous, very overbearing. Um, and they just had difficulties with trying to get out of what they were dealing with, you know. Maybe they were faithful to this person that they were with and um, their karmic partner or their karmic ex wasn't faithful. And so therefore they've and they had a short fling with someone else so that they were deeply hurt and they've been betrayed. I must admit that I'm longing for your touch and warm embrace. Sorry, I did not see your value and worth when we were together. This is not the way I wanted things to end. I wish I could go back in time. This person absolutely wants to rekindle something with you. And they do admire you. But they're admiring you from a distance as of right now. Because they know that they can't come into your life. But they definitely had a choice between two people. Between this other situation and you. And I feel like they are realising that they made a hasty decision. Or they made the wrong decision. And they didn't kind of follow through with this soul connection between you and this person. Um, they know you are deserving of love and they want to come forward and give you this proper love that you are deserving of. 
they're hoping you just give them a chance though with this give your relationship a chance and engagement yeah this person sees more with you for sure unrequited love they didn't show you the love that they had for you the passion the chemistry because potentially they may have been engaged to this other person in the past and were going through with a, an engagement or a wedding and then you kind of came into their life and then something happened they didn't call it off i'm getting that for some reason if that's not the case then they um just want to show you that the love between you isn't unrequited even if you may have thought that it was unrequited in the past for some reason because they chose this other person or other connection other than you but i feel like it was predominantly um practical and conventional reasons as to why they went with this other situation rather than going forward with you i kick myself for sabotaging this relationship my life won't be the same Allow me to work on me so that I can work on us. This person knows that if they're to have anything with you, that they have to earn your trust now. I miss you more now that we are apart. I still feel your energy, your presence around me. I wish I could have loved you the way you deserve to be loved, yeah. Hurting you was not the plan. I'm scared you will not accept me now. Yeah, this person's very fearful that you won't, you won't take them on. That you won't have anything more with them because of whatever happened in the past. This person may have been relatively shallow. They may have been relatively shallow. But if that's not the case, then they most likely accepted very poor treatment from someone else. Because they didn't feel like they were deserving of better. And they brought you into the mix in some sort of sense of insecurity. Um, to make themselves feel better about their life. Because they weren't happy with where they were at. And they couldn't quite pinpoint as to why they weren't happy um, at the time. They didn't have necessarily a clear head. But anyway, guys, I'm getting lots of different messages here. So please only take what you feel resonates and leave the rest, okay? Um, so it's obviously if the reading resonates, then that's great. If it doesn't, then it, it simply doesn't. But let us know in the comments down below and I'll eventually get back to you guys. But I hope that you have a very good week um, and we'll speak to you very soon. So please take care. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.